Hello everybody, this is Mattis Faction. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off a purchase I made at Pyramid Air. And this is the Crossman SBR Full Auto BB Rifle. And these are some accessories that came with it. I bought a little bundle. It came with some oil. It came with five CO2 cartridges because this is CO2 powered. And it came with a 6,000 count BB. And then the extras I purchased were, I got a 40 pack because uh, five was not going to cut this thing. I want to have some fun. So about the 40 pack. This was uh 20 something bucks. Not bad. Kind of came a little damaged, but I mean the bottles inside seem okay. Little cartridges. And then I saw that it shoots so fast that it'll shoot 25 BBs in like 3 seconds. So then you would have to take this out reload it with the speed loader and then put it back in and then shoot and you'd have to keep repeating so I bought this this is the uh, quick reload mag holds 300 BBs and it has a little thing on the bottom so as soon as you shoot 25 you should be able to pull the thing out and push it back in and then 25 more will get loaded So it's kind of given like a uh, load time comparison. 30 seconds using the speed loader or this just, oh yeah, here's a little cocker. So let's open this bad boy. This is what I'm most excited about. And there it is. Oops, sorry about that. So this is the owner's manual. I mean, you can read it. I won't. Here's the magazine that comes with it. It's actually really heavy. And the CO2 cartridges go right in here. And this thing feels like all metal construction. This is where the uh, speed loader goes. You would put it in here, drag the spring down, and then the BBs go right in there. This is the speed loader. You load it up and then that pushes the BBs down. This is plastic, but it's supposed to hook into this, and I don't know if I did it. Backwards, I probably did. And then, of course, I did a bad thing and broke it already. But we won't talk about that. We'll just worry about that later. Pretend it never happened. And then, of course, here's the main deal right here. This thing is heavy. got flip up sights. Let's see if I can. Might be too long for where I got this camera at. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. So close. So close. Oh, I'll just pretend I did it. So the mag goes in here. And then you would pull these back. There's a button you push here, and then of course, you have it, your settings, safety, single, and full auto. I myself will probably just have it stuck to full auto. I think that's going to be the most fun. It has an adjustable stock. 
real nice and easy just a quick button and then it's got a uh, like an angled foregrip and it says it's adjustable so I think you can just uh, unscrew it possibly move it forward or back and then we got the rails so you can deck this thing out put like a scope on here or a red dot sight laser sight flashlight whatever you feel like there's the barrel this is uh little plastic cap uh if you're using it with kids you might want to paint this orange you know you can never be too careful i mean this thing looks real if you have a bunch of kids running through a forest just shooting at targets you just want to be prepared maybe even paint the magazines orange But let's get this uh, one of these set up. So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna open this. Oh, maybe I don't need a knife. I believe this is the tool that tightens the uh, cartridges. And as you can tell, this one's a bit beefier. Here's a little comparison. And then this part, I believe, is the part that you pull out and it loads 25 BBs in for your next shot. I don't really know what that's for yet. Maybe that's where you dump the BBs. I might have to read the manual on this one. It says push, but there we go. So this is going to be where the cartridge is going. If you'll notice, one says first. You want to do this one first. If you put this one in, it'll just discharge. So you'll waste a cartridge. So make sure you put this one in first, and then you're gonna use the tool to tighten them in. So, just for fun, let's get one of these. Just load up one of these. And show you how this goes. So there's two right there. So remember this one first. Oh, probably have to loosen it before you do it. So I'm getting the tool out. We're just gonna loosen those right there. Now I'll put one in, and we'll tighten her up. I don't know if you heard that, but it made a little, uh, little thing showing that it's engaged. So now they're both in there. And I thought that the tool fit in here, but I don't know where yet. But that sounds like a problem for future Matt. Oh, there's a step-by-step -step guide. So BBs do go in that uh, one slot I was talking about. Right here. So... Load her up. I have to take this off.
Let me get two there. Pretty packed in there. Maybe get a get a couple more. All right. So that is the magazine. This thing is ready to go. It's loaded. I will not put it in here yet. I'm actually going to go outside. I'm going to set up a little target. We're going to load it up, see how this works. And then I think the next video, I'll do a little comparison between these two. And hopefully get this going again. Because, uh, yeah. This is what happens when you play with toys before you know what you're supposed to do. Oh, 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 it's coming back to life. We did it. Oh, oh, almost got a little carried away there again. All right, yeah, we'll worry about this stuff later. I got the gun. I would like to go apply some metal to some targets I bought. So we are going to go do that right now.